What up, what up? Wimbush here, and today I'm excited to show you guys this new piece of dope tech that I recently acquired called the Game Vice, and here it is, right here. So I bought this off of Amazon, I'll leave the link down below, but basically what this does is, it turns your iPad into almost like a Nintendo Switch. But what I'm using it for is doing actual camera moves inside of Unreal Engine. Actually, let me pull out my iPad, it's over here. So if I look here, you can see this is what it looks like hooked up and everything. And we have the joysticks, we have a D-pad. It almost looks like an Xbox controller with the way that it's colored and everything. But the cool thing I like too is the grips that it has on the back of it. So it makes it really easy to just grab it and do cool camera moves. Plus we have the joysticks on here as well. But instead of me going on just talking about it, let me show you how this actually works inside of Unreal Engine. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this, I'm just gonna basically show you how to use this inside of Unreal. I'm not gonna go through the step-by-step -step on how to hook your iPad up to the Unreal Engine. I do have a video on how to do that. So so I'll link that up above and I'll link that down below for anybody that's interested. But to get started, I'm actually gonna use the scene from Edith Carter. So I already have Unreal Engine opened up here. I'm gonna double click, look for maps, and then I'm gonna go to the demo map. So if you guys aren't familiar, Unreal basically released like a whole bunch of assets from the game and a bunch of scenes as well. So I will go to the marketplace. I'll show you guys where you can download that as well after this example. And it looks like the scene's a little bit dark. So I'm gonna click on the light here. Let me drag this over a little bit. Let's turn this light up maybe to like five, just to brighten up the room a little bit. And then I'm also gonna need a camera in here. So if I come over here to my place actors, come down to cinematic. Let me just use a Cine camera actor in here. We drag this up a little bit, move back something like that. And actually I could look through perspective of the camera here to properly place it where I want to be. So somewhere around here might be pretty cool. And then from here, I'm going to come over to road settings, game mode override. And I'm just going to make sure I'm on virtual camera mode like so. And again, you want to make sure that you guys see my other tutorial on how to link your iPad up to your Unreal Engine. So now that we have everything ready to go, I have my iPad actually ready to connect to Unreal. But before I get started, I wanna click on this arrow here, and then I wanna come down to active play mode. And I wanna make sure that I'm on current camera location, cause that's gonna make sure that the camera that I'm using right now is gonna be the one that I'm activating with my iPad. So make sure you have that clicked on. And then again, you wanna come down to active play mode. And I wanna use this one right here. This is new editor window. So if I click on this, there we go. So now it's actually hooked up to my iPad. So what's cool about it is the left joystick, I can actually move my camera around. So I actually have to tap the screen first just to activate it. And then if I use the left thumbstick, I'm actually moving back and moving my camera around. And I can also do, you know, like cool camera moves, look up and down. But I really like the way that this grips on here. So I'm actually gonna walk back in my room a little bit. And then I'm just gonna do a cool camera move. I'm gonna show you guys how we can record from the iPad into Unreal and then we can play it back and everything. It's really cool. So let me actually bring this up into the scene a little bit here. So I'm gonna bring this window up so we can see it better. And everything that's on this screen here correlates with my iPad. So you see like this big red button right here. I actually have it on my iPad as well. So if I hit the red button on my iPad, it's going to start recording the scene. And then I do my camera moves. And when I'm ready to stop, I'll hit it again. So let me get this set up. I'm going to move back into my room here. And I'm still mic'd up with the lav mic. It might sound a little bit bad in quality, but you see what's cool is I'm actually walking around the room as well. So if I move backwards, I'm actually going through the wall there. So, so it does do, you know, virtual placement, room scale placement to a small extent. Not as good as the Vive, but it still works out pretty well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click the red button. You'll see a countdown, three, two, one. And I'm actually gonna hit the A button in the top right just for automatic focus. And let's say I wanna do like a zoom over to the bed. So I'm gonna do like a small move almost like an airplane move. There we go. So I did that move. You can see down in the bottom right, it says take one, slate one, it's gonna give us a copy. Let me do another move too. So let me move a little bit into our scene, maybe somewhere a little bit different. Somewhere around here maybe. So I'm gonna start recording. I'm gonna basically do the, cool, the same move. So let me
there we go. So that's really cool how we could do those type of camera moves in here. And the thing is, like, I don't have all these buttons mapped. I guess you could map them if you have like blueprint set up or something, but I'm basically just using it for the grips and the top left thumbstick, which I can move around pretty much just like a first person game. You can't use the right thumbstick. You're gonna have to map that yourself. But if you wanna, you know, pivot left and right, you could do it physically and we could turn physically as well. So I thought this was really cool. And this is helping me out with some of my camera shots, handheld shots, because of the grips and everything that are on the back here. All right, so now we have everything closed out there. I'm gonna come down to my content browser. Let me move this up a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna come over to where it says content, come over to cinematics. So this is a new folder that it actually made. This is gonna hold our shots in there. So I'm gonna double click on takes, and then the folder with today's date. And you can see we actually have two takes in here. So these are two sequencers. I'm gonna click on the second one cause I kinda like that move better. So let me double click here. And then if I click on the camera here, and actually let me scroll this over. Actually I'm gonna take this take window, close that out. Just give us a little bit more real estate to see what the camera is doing. And then I'm going to click the play button. So there we go. Now we have a camera move recorded and Unreal Engine. And, you know, it's pretty cool because we get the actual natural handshakes and everything of the camera. Let me actually make this into a loop so it keeps playing. So there you go. If you have your scene built out, you want to do a walkthrough or if you have your actors in your scene and you want to actually direct them with the camera moves and everything. I just wanted to show this to you guys in case you guys are out there, you know, trying to take your camera moves to the next level. Something like this, I think is very valuable to you. So now that I showed you guys the game vice and how I use it with Unreal, let me show you guys where you could get those assets that were actually in the scene as promised. So I have the Epic Games Launcher open right now. I'm going to come over to the Marketplace tab. And we are recording this during Black Friday, so we're gonna see a bunch of sales here. But if I come over to free, and then I come down to Marketplace Collection, click on this, and then there we go. This is the one that I'm using right now. It's Eddie's Room, but they have a whole bunch of different scenes and assets and everything. So if you are familiar with this game and you've played it before, these are actually all the assets they used in the game. They give them to you absolutely free. And so I would go through here, you know, maybe just pick a scene and practice your camera moves and everything like I did here in the example. So hopefully this helped you guys out. This is something that I'm really excited about because it gives me some cool camera moves. If you guys did find this useful, make sure you leave me a comment down below and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.